Begin by checking the expiry date on the outer package. Do not use the product if the date has passed. Then equilibrate the test kit to room temperature before use. Thoroughly sanitize your workbench and your hands. Unpack the test kit components onto the workbench and carefully read the enclosed instructions for use. Then pierce the foil seal of the tube with diluent using the long pointed end of the dropper. Remove the sterile swab from the pill pack, being careful to avoid touching the sponge tip with your hands or contacting it with any foreign surface. Insert the swab sponge tip 1.5 cm into your nostril and slowly rotate the swab four times in a circular path against the inside of your nostril for 15 seconds. Use the same swab and repeat in your other nostril. Fully immerse the swab sponge tip into the diluent. Then squeeze the tube against the swab tip and rotate the swab stick in a twisting motion for 30 seconds to ensure all the sample is mixed into the diluent. Remove the swab while continuing to squeeze the sides of the tube so as to extract all the liquid from the sponge tip. Then safely dispose of the swab. Hold the dropper by the protective cap and insert the long pointed end into the tube until it is securely fitted. Gently mix the sample again by rotating the tube for 5 seconds in a stirring motion. Then remove the protective cap from the dropper. Remove the test cassette from its foil pack if you have not previously done so. Invert the tube and squeeze three drops into the small sample well at the bottom end of the test cassette. You may continue the test even if you accidentally added four drops. Start the stopwatch and read and test result after 15 minutes and up to 30 minutes, beyond which the test results are no longer considered valid. If the C-line displays a visible colour band, even if faint, and T-line is blank, then the test result is negative and you are unlikely to have COVID-19. If both the C-line and T-line display visible colour bands, even if faint, then the test result is positive and you most likely are infected with COVID-19. If the C-line is blank, then the test result is considered invalid. On completion, Dispose all materials in a plastic bag and sanitize your hands thoroughly.